Hi, it's Just Fear with Brow Tine Innovations. I'm here to answer another question, and that is, why are we called Brow Tine Innovations? Uh, well, it's not a, it's a good story, but it's not a long story. Uh, what it really comes down to is, I started deer hunting umpteen years ago, and uh, this is actually my first deer, um, which is kind of another story for another time, but basically since i was a kid i thought the antlers were super cool as most people do i think there's sort of a natural fascination with them and i was actually duck hunting a couple of years ago in a creek that's less than a mile from actually where we're filming this right now and i saw this head and the first thing i saw was actually a brown tine just sort of sticking uh sticking up out of the grass of all things just the way it was laid down sort of like this and the grass was covering this and there was sort of some grass coming up here so I couldn't really see anything else but I saw this guy just sort of glinting in the sun uh, as I was walking back along the creek and I saw it and I went over and looked at it well this old bruiser whoever he was had finally kind of met his match and probably got sick or injured during the rut it was maybe a week and a half or two after the rut and um well he um he was eaten up pretty good by coyotes. So whatever happened, I uh, couldn't really find any evidence that he'd been like killed directly by them, but he certainly had been eaten up by them. And uh, he had this, his main beam was broke here on the right side. He had another break here on his left side, um, but he just had these gnarly, gnarly brow tines, like brow tines like this that you could hold on to with your hands. And I have pretty big hands. So, you know, it's a fairly sizable brow tine, um, an older deer. So I just thought that was super cool. And it, it kind of inspired me to, to, to name the company after it, just because, you know, deer that are mature, uh, that they grow old, they typically get these big brow tines on them. And it's something I look for in a deer that kind of tells me, hey, this one might be a little bit different. This one might be interesting. Um, and you also see a lot of sort of genetic variation from deer, deer, and brow tines. And I think it's a really good way to tell uh, who's related to who out in the woods. So it's it's pretty cool. That's, that's at least that's my story. That's why we called it what we called it. And, um, you know, it's meaningful for us. Hopefully it's meaningful for you. If you've got stories like that where you found some deadhead out there, we'd love to hear about them. We encourage you to share them. Thanks.